Today I'm going to be sharing with you three pros and three cons about the game predecessor to determine whether you should play it or not. I'm going to make this video quick and straightforward. Let's start off with the cons of predecessor. The number one con I would say is that the matchmaking is pretty bad. And no, I'm not talking about the fake MMR that was made by the community. There are many matches that you'll play that are just one-sided and unwinnable, which is expected from a MOBA, but players that are new to the game should not be playing with players that have been playing for over 5 months, for obvious reasons. The second con I would say about this game is the low frequency of changes. Even though full release is coming up and they're making some improvements, if you've watched a gameplay clip of Predecessor from let's say 3 months ago, and you compare it to the gameplay now, you probably would not be able to tell the difference, except for maybe a couple small item changes and descriptions. But the third con I would bring up is the balancing of items and characters. For example, every character in the carry section of this game has an insane TTK time depending on what items they build on that character. The item metas and the character metas last for a very long time as well due to the minimal changes and it can be annoying to go against the same characters over and over every game. But the pros of this game outweigh the many problems that it has and the game can still be really fun if you play with a couple of friends. The first pro I'd give to this game is that it's finally coming to a full release state tomorrow or today whenever you're watching. So if you're interested in playing this game and thinking about trying it, now is actually the best time to do so. The second pro I'd give to this game is that there's many ways to actually play the game. You could play a character that can flank enemy backlines, or create an advantage in teamfights, or even force the enemy to stay in one area. I'm sure you'll find at least two characters that fit your style of play. And finally, the third pro, which I think is the biggest selling point for this game, is the uniqueness of it being a third person action MOBA. If you like third person games and are interested in strategy situations, then Predecessor is the game for you. And the game is not too hard either if you're a new player. There's not that much depth and it's pretty easy to catch on to everything that goes on. So in conclusion, I would say give Predecessor a try. If you don't like it, then it's fine and it's understandable. But it's not completely a game that you should be sleeping on. That'll be the end of this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and if you want to watch some content about Predecessor in the future. I make informational builds and gameplay videos on certain characters within the Brawl game mode. So. I'll see you guys in the next one.